Today's painting is inspired by my dear friend John Margota, blood as medium at Instagram and we're going to attempt his color scheme. So we're painting Death Guard and talk about why the color scheme in general of Death Guard works. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Mats and tools are all sponsored by the following brands. So this is my first like Death Guard Plague Marines. This is my personal army and I'm kind of scared. Anyways, my daughter Nico just got sponsored by SMS Paints. So my Mecha Paints and my other Vallejo Air Paints, um, no one's using them. I rarely airbrush these days, so we're going to brush paint my mecha colors and I'll tell you my verdict at the end of the video. Mecha colors are air paints. They're the same with game air and model air, albeit they're made more durable and they're perfect for the airbrush. But we're not airbrushing today. Also, we're going to be talking a lot about the Death Guard color scheme, why it pops, why it works, and why certain color scheme simply works. First, we do our dry brush underpainting for first-time viewers of my video or first-time visitors of this channel. I really like jump-starting my painting with dry brushing. Dry brushes, or I mean dry brushing and lazy washing, or even lazy glazing as I fondly call them, are very carefree painting techniques that are perfect for like late night painting or jump starting a project. Oh, I remember I got a comment asking how do I choose what color to use for underpainting? Any color actually in the color wheel, you add a bit of black and you have the perfect underpainting. But in terms of choosing what color, what specific color to use, actually it's all about contrast. First, we talk about why the Death Guard color scheme pops or why it works. Simply because it has the colors of the Christmas tree. <laughs> Seriously guys, the color scheme of Death Guard is basically Christmas tree. It's green and red and a bit of yellow, green, and purple. So if you look at the color scheme, those are complementary colors. Complementary colors are the direct opposite in the color wheel. So basically, complementary colors make each other vibrant. If you put them side by side, they will look more vibrant than they are. Also, complementary colors, if you mix them together, they are the perfect shade or shadow for each of those colors. So it's been a while since I brush painted mecha colors, so we'll see here and again I'll give you my verdict at the end of the video. Also, I highly recommend oil paint brushes for dry brushing, they're so easy to clean. Also, the painting mat with the color wheel is now available at the Red Grass website. Going back to how I choose my underpainting, sometimes I choose the color if it gives a nice contrast with the main color of the model. Like for example, this one, the Death Guard, this will be pale green. So to give a nice contrast, I'm using the like the complementary color of green and using a dark red color. So a bit of experiment with the pale green because I usually use olive green or shades of olive greens because it's kind of yellow green and it complements um, red purple or red violet really well. So will our pale green color scheme pop even though we're using like a pale green than usual? We'll see later in the video. Anyways, you see in the video, I mix dark red and mecha brown. It's a really nice combination. It kills the vibrancy of the red and it will look a bit more soil-like or will look like a bit more natural for the groundwork. 
However, this groundwork painting is just the base color because we're going to do some pigment work later, although I did not show that in this video. The great thing about painting or brush painting with air paints, which are model air, game air, and mecha colors, is that they have like a milk consistency. Their consistency is actually almost perfect for brush painting already. So you might have noticed earlier, I did not really thin the paint. I just added a bit of highlight sauce. So the green is painting like brush painting fine, but it's a fail. Painting or brush painting the mega green is not really a total fail, but it's so different than brush painting model colors. So we kind of switch to gray green. It's still a pale green, although it's a bit darker. But I want to give the mecha colors a chance, so we're using the purple counterpart, the mecha purple. Although it doesn't have a label because it's not yet out in the market. The mecha purple is looking so nice and vibrant, but I'm not sure if the name is mecha purple. Because again, it's not yet out in the market, but it's looking really nice. Now we go back to talking about the color scheme or the color wheel. As you can see, purple is the complementary color of yellow. Other than the fact I like the underpainting, the purple underpainting for Nurgle skin or Death Guard skin because it's dead skin and purple kind of gives like a dead vibe or a zombie vibe. The purple will also make the pus, the yellow pus, really pop later. So the Mecha Purple is looking really nice. However, it's less opaque than model colors in general or at least the two colors that we use are less opaque. I think, but I'm not sure, that the composition of the Mecha colors is really formulated for durability and not for brush painting. The durable additive, whatever it is, is making the paints less opaque. Now if you could notice, our experiment kind of works. Our pale green is looking a bit more vibrant after we painted the purple. Perfect example is if we painted the tentacles or the skin dark green, the pale green will look paler. This simply means that even if you use the paler version of the complementary color, it will still look vibrant or at the very least more vibrant than it actually is. However, it's kind of tricky to use the actual complementary color of each color. I highly recommend that you kind of tweak it a bit. So instead of using like yellow green, you kind of like yellow green and purple you kind of switch it a bit and make the purple darker or in this case what we did is make the yellow green a bit paler or the green paler and then the purple very bright so tweak the complementary color or one of them at least so that it won't look too cartoony Oh, by the way, for first-time viewers of this channel again, glaring is just like layering. However, we're using glaze medium instead of just thinner medium or water so that our paints is a bit more transparent. Basically, glaring will produce smoother edges than basic layering. However, you still need to do glazes if you really want a smooth, super flawless blending. We're not going for a very smooth finish here because we're going to do weathering later in the video. No, not in the video because I did not record the finishing touches. So no glazes for these models, just basic glaring. So going back to how color schemes work, basically you play with complementary colors and play around with uh, like value or the tones of the other color so that it won't be like too blatant that you're using complementary colors in your color scheme. 
So again, I highly recommend you buy the red grass painting mat at their website. And no, I'm not paid to say that. <laughs> By the way, I highly recommend this Japanese uniform model color. Because it's pretty opaque for yellow. It's a good underpainting for yellow later. And unlike Scrupulous Brown of the game color range, it's less orangey. So you have a true yellow color. After painting the Japanese uniform in two thin coats a la Duncan Rhodes, we're going to paint Cavalry Brown, which is the perfect underpainting for any red color. Oh, by the way, you might notice I'm not thinning with thinner medium. I'm just adding a bit of highlight sauce because I'm like speeding up the painting of these models. The highlight sauce is basically a thin down retarder medium so the paints won't lose opacity they'll just retard the drying time and thin it just a little bit now we paint a bit of tmm this is just an intro on tmm i'll do a proper video specifically focus on tmm first we add a bit of black color or black paint to the actual base color or the metallic color this was suggested by Shattered Skull Studio at Facebook and it was an awesome technique because it kind of kills the brightness of the base color so that our highlight TMM will look better later. I made a bit of mistake by mixing model color black with the mecha copper since the model color black is too creamy and I had to thin down the mixture. But now I kind of like realized that and so we're mixing Mecha Pure Black with the Mecha Steel or I forgot what I used. Now we have same consistency in terms of the mixing so we did not like thin down the paint and it's perfect for brush painting. Quick tip, metallic paints are very tricky to thin because the pigments, metallic pigments, will separate with the binder if you over thin them. This is the main reason why some miniature painters rave about brush painting met metal color range because the metal color range, similar to the other metallic air paints, they have the perfect consistency for brush painting already. Oh, I haven't given up with the idea of washing acrylics like oil paints, but I kind of like doing oil washes for this death guard. So now we're just doing finishing touches, especially on the skin. We're doing glaring and glazes to smoothen out. It's the smoothest like parts of these models. So going back to our questions at the start of the video, how do I choose the color of the underpainting? With this one, I chose the complementary color of the green armor, which is reddish brown or red. Second is, can you brush paint mecha colors and do I recommend them? Basically, you could brush paint any Vallejo color or any Vallejo paint. However, the mecha color is designed for airbrushing and do I recommend them for brush painting? No. So, so please don't tell Vallejo I said no but for dry brushing and metallic paints, I recommend the mecha colors. Lastly, why the Death Guard color scheme pop? It's simply because it utilizes complementary colors. As you can see, we use purple and yellow paws green armor or pale green armor and red blood and basically all of the combinations here are complementary colors That's good. so we're done i hope you like the video do give the video a thumbs up if you like this format and leave a comment below if you have any inquiries or you simply like just like to help the channel grow That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!